There's a lot that's going to happen before, during, and after the total solar eclipse, and we want you to be ready for all of it. You won't notice it get much darker up until 70 or 80% of the sun is obscured by the moon. The surrounding atmosphere will take on an eerie sepia tone, but be warned, this may make some people feel uncomfortable. You'll want to dress for a change in the weather because if it's dry, the temperature could drop between four and six degrees Celsius as solar radiation decreases. That drop in solar radiation is going to have an impact on cumulus clouds. They will begin to dissipate or disappear entirely. 10 to 15 minutes before totality, if it's not too noisy, listen for crickets to start chirping. About 90 seconds before totality, shadow banding occurs in the atmosphere. This is when the solar rays of light are bent. If you want this atmospheric phenomena to really pop, throw down a white sheet and watch this display in action. Next comes the umbra. It starts as a purple hue in the southwest sky about 90 seconds before totality. As the darkest shadow of the moon closes in, it becomes dark very quickly. And then the sky turns a hard to describe shade of royal blue that few have ever witnessed. If you somehow find yourself outside of the path of totality, your show will be coming to an end. You'll experience all those aforementioned effects just in reverse. Now you'll notice the final pinpricks of the sun in the moon's valleys. This is called Bailey's beads. They last about 15 seconds before totality. Make sure you still have your solar glasses on at this point. Now Bailey's beads will converge into one ray of light. This is known as the diamond ring effect. And if you get extra lucky, you might just see a double diamond. And now comes the moment you've been waiting for, complete totality, when the moon fully blocks the sun. And now at this point, you can safely take off your eclipse glasses and really take in this extraordinarily moving phenomenon. And it is extremely rare. Any given point on Earth, this only occurs once every 375 years. Once the sun is blocked, you'll notice its atmosphere, called the corona. It's about a million degrees Celsius and stretches millions of kilometers into space. Now you've spent some time marveling at the sun, take a look at the newly illuminated stars and planets for a out of this world experience. And after a few minutes of totality, the diamond ring effect will reappear and that's a cue to put back on your solar eclipse glasses. And now this atmospheric spectacle will play in reverse. And that's what you can expect during the total solar eclipse.